Did you know that the Ford Falcon was the first compact car manufactured by Ford? The Ford Falcon, a legendary nameplate in the automotive world, has a rich history that spans over six decades. Born in an era of shifting automotive trends and societal changes, the Falcon quickly established itself as a versatile and enduring model, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. From its inception in the early 1960s, to its eventual evolution and discontinuation, the Falcon's journey is a fascinating tale of innovation, adaptability, and cultural influence. The story of the Ford Falcon begins in the early 1960s, a time when compact cars were gaining popularity due to changing consumer preferences and rising concerns about fuel efficiency. Ford, under the leadership of then-President Robert McNamara, recognized the need for a smaller, more economical car to compete with the influx of European imports. Introduced in 1960 as a 1960 and a half model, the Ford Falcon marked a departure from the larger, gas-guzzling cars of the era. It was designed to be affordable, practical, and efficient. The first-generation Falcon featured a unibody construction, which contributed to its lightweight design, and it was offered in various body styles including sedans, wagons, and even a sporty convertible. Under the hood, the Falcon boasted a range of inline-six engines, emphasizing efficiency without sacrificing performance. The initial success of the Falcon reflected the changing automotive landscape and consumer preferences, making it clear that smaller cars were here to stay. The Falcon's journey took an exciting turn in 1964, with the introduction of the Ford Mustang, a sportier variant based on the Falcon platform. This move marked the birth of the pony car segment, and the Mustang's success had a ripple effect on the Falcon itself. The Falcon Sprint, introduced in 1963, served as a precursor to this performance-oriented shift. In 1964, the Falcon underwent a significant redesign, adopting a more aggressive and stylish appearance. The second-generation Falcon embraced its sporty side, and the Falcon Sprint emerged as the performance flagship. It featured V8 engines, offering a level of power and excitement previously unseen in the Falcon lineup. The success of the Falcon Sprint demonstrated that the Falcon could cater to a broader audience, from those seeking fuel efficiency, to enthusiasts desiring a thrilling driving experience. This era saw the Falcon evolving into a versatile platform capable of meeting diverse consumer demands. As the Falcon solidified its presence in the United States, Ford recognized the potential to expand its global footprint. The Falcon became a truly international model, with assembly plants and sales in various countries. Australia in particular embraced the Falcon as its own, with locally produced models gaining popularity. In Australia, the Ford Falcon became an iconic part of the automotive landscape. The Australian Falcons had unique features, designs, and engines tailored to the local market. The Falcon's success down under was not only commercial but also cultural, cementing its status as a symbol of Australian motoring. This globalization of the Falcon showcased Ford's ability to adapt a model to different markets demonstrating the car's universal appeal and adaptability. The 1970s brought about significant challenges for the automotive industry, most notably the oil crisis of 1973. Rising fuel prices and increased awareness of environmental concerns prompted a shift in consumer preferences towards smaller, more fuel-efficient vehicles. The Ford Falcon, with its roots in compact car design, was well-positioned to meet the changing demands of the market. During this period, Ford continued to refine the Falcon, focusing on fuel efficiency without compromising performance. The Falcon's adaptability and commitment to efficiency during this tumultuous time allowed it to remain a relevant choice for consumers seeking practicality and economy. As the automotive landscape continued to evolve, so did the Falcon. The 1980s and 1990s saw a series of redesigns and updates, reflecting changing aesthetic preferences and technological advancements. During these decades, the Falcon transitioned through various body styles, from the boxy designs of the 1980s to the more aerodynamic and streamlined forms of the 1990s. Technological innovations such as electronic fuel injection and advanced safety features found their way into the Falcon lineup, enhancing both performance and safety. In Australia, the Falcon maintained its popularity, serving as a staple in the Ford lineup. The local production of Falcons allowed for customization and adaptation to the unique needs of the Australian market, solidifying its position as one of the country's favorite cars. As the 21st century dawned, the automotive industry faced new challenges and opportunities. The Ford Falcon, now in its sixth generation, 
continued to adapt to changing market demands. Technological advancements became a focal point, with the introduction of features such as advanced infotainment systems, electronic stability control, and improved fuel efficiency. The Falcon XR6 Turbo, introduced in the mid-2000s, showcased Ford's commitment to performance, blending power with modern technology. In Australia, the Falcon remained an integral part of Ford's lineup, with the Falcon FGX representing the final chapter of local production. The closure of the Australian manufacturing plants in 2016 marked the end of an era as the Falcon entered a new phase in its history. The Ford Falcon's legacy extends beyond its technical specifications and market success. It became a cultural icon, woven into the fabric of society through its appearances in movies, television shows, and as a symbol of motoring freedom. In the United States, the Falcon's role in popular culture is exemplified by its appearances in films like Bullet, where a 1968 Falcon played a memorable role in a high-speed chase. The Falcon's cultural impact also resonated in Australia, where it became synonymous with the country's automotive identity. The Falcon's influence on motorsports is another aspect of its legacy. The Falcon competed in various racing series including the iconic Bathurst 1000 in Australia. Its successes on the track further solidified its reputation as a capable and versatile vehicle. In 2016, Ford officially ended local production of the Falcon in Australia, concluding an era that spanned more than five decades. The decision was part of a broader global strategy for Ford, emphasizing efficiency and focusing on core models. While the end of local production marked the conclusion of the Falcon's Australian chapter, the nameplate lives on in the hearts of enthusiasts and collectors worldwide. The Falcon XR6 Turbo and XR8, with their powerful engines and dynamic performance, serve as a fitting tribute to the model's legacy. Despite the end of local production, rumors and speculations have persisted about the possibility of a new Ford Falcon. As the automotive industry continues to undergo transformations, the potential resurrection of the Falcon remains a topic of speculation and anticipation among enthusiasts. Whether the Falcon will soar again in a new form or remain a cherished memory, its impact on the automotive world is undeniable. The Ford Falcon's journey from a compact and economical car to a symbol of performance and cultural significance is a testament to its enduring legacy in the annals of automotive history. As enthusiasts reminisce about the roar of a Falcon engine and the thrill of the open road, the spirit of the Falcon lives on, etched into the collective memory of automotive enthusiasts worldwide.